Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name is Matthew Kidman and everyone in the financial markets have just had a big sigh of relief. It's March and we're over the half year reporting season. And today to discuss how it all went, Andrew Smith from Perennial and David Allingham from Eli Griffiths. Welcome, gentlemen. I'll start with you, Andrew. Can you just give us a brief summary of how you think the reporting season went? It, there's always some wins and losses and yeah, well, carnage. I think, I think overall, you know, we had a brutal confession season from November. Yeah. So a lot of the expectations were really low and those low expectations were met. Um, small caps had a few wins and losses, but overall I'd say it was in line. And just sticking with the small caps, it's always a bit of a mystery tour going through the reporting season. Um, there was a couple of obviously bad ones, but overall okay? Yeah, I'd say overall pretty reasonable. We had some pretty, pretty bad results from like Ardent Leisure, um, surprised the market despite an update in January. Icentia also had a recent yeah. update and again surprised the market. So small caps always, always a bit tricky. Okay. David, always when you get the numbers, you go through the numbers and then you're looking for the outlook. Um, overall, the Australian economy, the outlook on earnings, how do you feel about that coming out Look, of the Look, I, I think it feels a little pretty tough out there. I think whoever you speak to, is, uh, it's not easy to make a buck out there on the street at the moment. And I think um, particularly in, in the stock market at the moment, it's very much about positioning. So I think um, stocks that are under-owned, um, that don't disappoint, are having a very good time. But stocks that are over-owned, particularly by big cap managers that have made their way into small caps, um, those stocks are very vulnerable to minor disappointments. And I think we've seen um, yeah, some, some, some serious, seriously negative uh, share price reactions to, to, to disappointments. So the big caps overall have tended to outperform the small caps in recent months, and, and you just gave us a reason there. If we're going to be in small caps, which everyone here is, where do we position ourselves? Where are those under-owned stocks that are doing okay from an earnings well, front? Small caps is always about momentum, and I think we look at the, the momentum in the market at the moment, particularly from an earnings perspective, is still in resources and, and mining services to a degree. I think these stocks have still uh, got valuation merit, and I think there's positive earnings momentum, and I think that's what's going to outperform for the, for the next six to 12 months. Um, albeit, I think you've got to be selective now. These stocks have re-rated pretty materially, so if you look at a stock like Monodelphus, you know, it's trading on 20 times. There's not a lot of room for error there, but great management, and it's had a big re-rate. So I think that part of the market is still going to perform quite well. It's been the trend for 12 months, and I'd, I'd, I'll be sticking with that trend. Are you aligned with that, Andrew? Is it resources? There are some big multiples now on current earnings. Yeah. A lot of faith that they will grow over the next year or so. I think on resources, what's been really interesting is they had probably the most upgrades during reporting season, but share prices didn't respond. So a bit of that's priced in. So it's really where do commodity prices go from here? But clearly, we agree on mining services that they were probably the most positive group of outlook statements. A lot of upgrades and, and still a bit of room in some of the smaller share prices to, tell, to move higher. All right, tell us where to avoid. What did the earnings season tell you about where you don't want to be? I think it's very stock specific. So, you know, floats that are coming out of private equity, there's been a few warning signs there. Um, very stock specific, so we're looking at cash conversion, things like that, any poor quality results, that's what we would be avoiding, rather than any sector in specific. And did you find many of them? Oh uh, yeah, there's quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> there's no shortage of, uh, of, of sort of low quality results. Um, but equally, as Dave mentioned, there's been a lot of severe share price moves, so that creates opportunities. So we're, we're now looking for those bargains post-reporting season. OK, I'll come back for a few names. Dave, where do you want to be, or not be, sorry? What did the earnings season teach you? Look, we've, we've made a big rotation in the last 12 months out of um, bond proxies and stocks that are leveraged to the bond market. We feel that the macro is potentially at risk of an inflation spike later this year, and we think that has ramifications for bond markets, and then I think also some of the high PE names. If you look at a stock like Arb Corporation, a great business, but trading on 28 times, derated to 22. Nothing's changed, it's just fallen 30%. So I think we're trying to avoid those stocks and looking for value. Um, I think one thing to note, particularly which is small, in small cap land, is to keep an eye on balance sheets. I think if we do, do go into a bit of a tightening cycle with the Fed this year, um, balance sheets might come into focus again as liquidity tightens in the system. And so I'd be avoiding, and we are trying to avoid stocks that are over-geared, and particularly when you're looking at retailers that have uh, lease liability as well. So balance sheets is something we, we're looking at. And as, as, as Andrew said, um, obviously cash flow conversion is important in that, in that respect as well. All right, to finish up on, small cap stocks, can we make money out of them this year based on what we've seen out of these earnings? Look, absolutely. I think there's, there's still uh, there's good opportunities. Uh, I think the confluence of events that occurred late in the, in the calendar 16 year where we saw on the back of Trump um, banks take off global in financials as, as bond market expectations change and resources chiming in as well. We had a huge amount of money wanting to get back into the banks and resource stocks, BHP and Rio. So a lot of money that had been searching for growth that had come into small caps exited. Now I think there's going to be lingering elements of that to, to, throughout this year but I think there's absolutely that's coming to an end and I think we're going to get back onto high quality companies that are delivering growth and I think those companies continue to outperform. Andrew? View on can we make money this year 
on yeah. the back of what we've seen? Is yeah, there I opportunity think, enough? I think the opportunity set's grown with the sell-off we've had. You know, it's been a pretty big sell-off from November uh, in small caps and that creates opportunities. So yeah, we're excited about the opportunities in small caps at the moment. So there you have it. Do your work on small caps and your small balance will grow a lot bigger over the course of this year.